deal. You're out doing your thing, living your life, minding your own business, and come thing or someone slaps a carrier right on top of 06. That's is bad. Because we like our repeater. We need it to work. And it doesn't work. Some bonehead puts a carrier on it. You can't use the repeater. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing, right? Well, it's a good idea. Okay. Step one is probably to find the road signal. Well, how are you going to do that? Well, you use a direction finding system to find the road signal. Um, here's an automatic direction finding system. This was made by Ramsey Engineering. You put the little antennas on top of your vehicle, you hook this thing to your mobile, and it's got an automatic direction finding uh, display, the ADF, lights up the LEDs, and points to the source of the signal. So with this thing, I can locate a signal as fast as I can drive to it. Well, the problem there is not everybody's got an ADF system. So sometimes we have to do it manually. To do it manually, we usually use some sort of a directional antenna and a portal radio. All right. Um, that takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of skill. To that end, ham radio has this little game that we play called Fox Hunt. And the purpose of it is to improve your skills at finding a rogue transmitter. To do the fox hunt game, the first thing you need is a fox. Well, a fox is just a small transmitter that generates a signal. Lucky for us, our very own Michelle, W5MQC, bought one. And here it is. The thing's got a circuit board and a little chip and a crystal and a battery and an on-off switch and an antenna. And when you turn it on, it, it generates a totally, absolutely annoying signal. So for our fox hunt game, what we do is put this thing out somewhere and you go find it. Well, you still need the directional antenna. And our Mr. Bill here has his portal radio. And I've got a fox hunt transmitter. $400 worth of high dollar attenuators and I ended up with a piece of foil to attenuate this thing. <laughs> Sometimes all you need is a piece of foil. Okay, can, can you... Uh, notice how with a directional antenna, with a Yagi antenna, the gain of a Yagi is positive gain off the front of the Yagi, zero gain off the side of the Yagi, and negative gain off the back of the Yagi. So you can turn the Yagi antenna around, use your body as shielding, and you notice as Bill turns around, the signal goes on and off. Once you find the direction of the signal, you walk toward the signal. It's that simple. Now, we've got the fox. We've got... The next question is, how can... How can you get a hold 
of one of these Cooper Cool Harbor Freight Steel Tape Direction Finding Antennas. Well, friends, have we got a deal for you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just so happens that our own N5HZR bought a bunch of them. And you can be the owner of your very own Harbor Freight steel tape Yagi direction finding antenna. Now look at this antenna. It's a pretty decent antenna. It's, uh, it's, it's probably worth 50 bucks. But I think you heard somebody say we're not selling them for 50 bucks. We're not selling them for 40 or 30 or even $20. We're selling these things for a ridiculous price. One easy payment of ten dollars, cash, American money, hundred percent down, and no monthly payments. You can be walking and talking tonight. But that's not all. But wait. But wait. If you buy two, Mark bought thirty kits. Yes, quantities are limited. So you got to get them while they're available. Actually, Mark made 30 kits. But wait, there's more. You need a piece of coax to connect between your portable and the antenna. Now, I know some of you have the Waxon and the Bofang portables that require a SMA female antenna connector. Some of you have the trusty old Yesus or the Monroys that require an SMA male connector. Some of you even have these fancy new phones that double as a phone and a radio that require the SMA female connector. As face it, friends, in today's world, there's no telling which gender you prefer. I'll tell you what, friends, I'm getting where I'm afraid about Chick-fil-A. But anyway, you may need a male connector, you may need a female connector. Well, Mark has procured a whole stack of these SMA cables. They have a male on one end, they have a female on the other. So, you can whack off which end you don't want and hook up with whichever you prefer. So, I bought a cable like that to go with a test set <coughs> on Amazon. It cost me 20 bucks. Fair price. So, I'm thinking, okay, $20 for the cable. But no! Mark doesn't want 20 bucks for it. He didn't want $10 for it. He didn't want $5 for it. It's ridiculous. For the first 30 people, that become the owner of the Harbor Freight Steel Tape Direction Finding Yagi Antenna for one low price of $10 cash American money, 100% down with no monthly payment. We will include the cable absolutely free. Wow. You can be walking and talking tonight. I don't know how he does it. And, and you can cut it in half and put both connections and you can be buying. <laughs> In today's world, who knows which gender you prefer? I don't care and I don't want to know. TMI. But wait! There's more. There's more. Did I mention some assembly required? No. Um, you, ha you have to solder the end of the coax onto the steel tape. Now I'm sure every red-blooded American amateur here today 
they're 100% fully qualified to do SARS. But you do have to solder that tape on the end of the steel, uh, on the coax on the end of the steel tape. For that, of course, you need a big berth of solder on it. So, for the first 30 people that become owners of the Harbor Freight steel tape Yaddy direction finding antenna for one for low price of ten dollars cash American money, I can sit down no monthly payment. We're going to have an after school session, and we will help you build your antenna. We will help you solder the end of the coax onto the tape. You must have some holes in the bottom. All included for ten bucks. That's it. There is no more. I return this meeting to normal amateur use. <laughs> yes.